What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to show you the unboxing of Nokia Lumia 1020. I know I'm very late on this front but the thing is the, this device was not available outside of US but it is now available uh, in my market and this is the first day that it is available and of course it runs uh, Windows uh, Phone 8 and uh, it has the PureView technology as far as the camera is concerned and I really like that and this is it has a uh, call Swiss lens and it has snapdragon dual core Qualcomm processor in it so let's try to open the box quickly right now I'm in a mall and I'm uh, sitting in a bench and trying to unbox uh, this device because I can't wait to go back home and uh, unbox this thing because I'm too excited to get this thing out of the box as quickly as I can and I'm shooting right now with my Z1 and uh, here it is this is the device and let's take out the device out of the box we'll uh, have a look at uh, the device this is a 4.5 inch uh, screen and on the back you can see a big hump big camera hump with 41 megapixel written on it of course it's a Nokia device and it has uh, two type of flash so let's put uh, the device on the on the side and let's see we have let's see what we have in the box. We have the SIM removal tool and we have some documentation and uh, inside as well, but not a lot that uh, we see with Sony. And we have uh, a cable, USB cable, wall charger, and we have the headphones. So that's it that's pretty standard stuff tucked nicely inside a small box so let's close the box and let's look at the device itself so let's try to remove this uh, plastic using one hand only as I have to keep uh, my Z1 in my second hand and try to shoot this uh, unboxing and here we go this is the device and it's shiny on the front because of the screen but it has a matte black finish as you can see on the back and this is the big camera hump on the back with with 41 megapixels and let me remove that uh, plastic as well from the camera and here is the camera it is big and it's uh, made out of uh, metal actually and it's very solid piece and the device actually feels really good in the hand and let's try to power it on the build quality seems very nice and the material used is although it's plastic on the sides and on the back it's uh, the camera hump is metal but overall the feel of the device is very very premium and you don't feel that it's a cheap device so i will say that uh, it's a job well done by nokia at that front so it's taking slightly longer as the Nokia phone usually takes longer to boot. Of course it doesn't have any SIM. Let me put my SIM and I will be back. So I'm back. I have put my SIM already. The phone is all set up and running. And as you can see the Windows phone software does not require uh, too powerful hardware to run smoothly and the dual core processors are good enough to run the device smoothly and let's look at the back on the right we have uh, three buttons the top one is uh, the volume rocker and the middle one is the power button and uh, the last one is the camera shutter button as you can see over here and on the top we have a headphone jack and we have a noise cancelling mic and the sim card slot at the bottom we have a speaker and a micro usb port for sync and for charging and on the other side we don't have anything and on, and on the back we have a big camera hump and we have two flashes one is LED flash and the other one is xenon flash below we have two pins for connectivity with the, the accessories like the charging case and the camera case so guys this is the Nokia Lumia 1020 so let's try to make a take a photo using this uh, camera and uh, the camera in this thing is really awesome so let's try to take a photo of this bench over here 
using auto mode and as you can see the flash xenon flash it's quite a powerful flash and the photo came actually very nice it looks uh, sharp and the detail it looks uh, staggering let me try to open this photo over here yeah this one you can see the detail on the bench it's uh, really staggering for a smartphone so guys i hope uh, that you have liked the unboxing of this video and uh, i'm gonna compare this camera with the camera on the z1 so let's see and stay tuned for those videos